Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm doing a video on a Friday, which means I must be talking about some music resource, tool, or a specific strategy that you guys can use. Today, we got a strategy, and it's really along the concepts of user experience. Let's hop right into it. Now, this video was inspired by an artist named Nowadays, I ran into him. He had a USB. A lot of people have deployed music on their USBs and use that as a campaign. And he had an interesting way he wanted to go about it that I'm not going to go into. But what was interesting and the very useful of how he did this was he said, yo, Sean, put the USB in your computer, use it. And he just watched. He didn't start off by explaining the concept and try to get my opinion on the idea or anything like that. He literally just let me do it and I went through the process. And what was important from this was he watched and he said, man, you're the second person who couldn't find the actual audio song. You clicked on everything but the song. And there was a real interesting nuance where the song kind of looked like a logo or something like that. But I remember seeing the file for the song and I didn't think it was a song. I thought it was something else completely that wasn't worth clicking on. And seeing that, especially since he wanted to give his USB to DJs, was extremely important. A lot of times we come up with these ideas and ways of doing things and we think it's so obvious when it's in our head, but when we put it out into the world, people don't really react how we want them to. It's a very simple concept, but a lot of times people don't take the work to do it. Just give it to somebody. Don't even ask their opinion. A lot of times we ask people's opinion and then they start going into all this theoretical stuff. You make them think a lot harder than they need to. No, what is their experience? You want to see how they go about things. And why is this important? A lot of times, studies show, people will lie about what they will do, not willingly. They just think they're telling the truth about how they will react in a certain situation or what they think. Oh, that's a cool idea. But then when they actually experience it, they act completely different. If nowadays had said, hey, yo, Sean, so like, check this out. All right, I got my MP3 file right here. I got this link here and I got this link here. He never would have known that without him, absent of his experience, which is how most people are going to really experience the campaign, I would completely miss that the MP3 file was the MP3 file. It's hard to simulate complete reality a lot of times, but you've got to figure out a way to get the best version of a test of your campaign before you put a lot of marketing and energy or well, just money behind that campaign. Now, one thing, obviously, you can just run like a low amount of ads. If it's an ad for Facebook or something like that, you can always test with like three dollars, two dollars just to start getting a feel of how much people can click and they convert. But there's a lot of things that you want to do beforehand. Right. If you're asking somebody about an ad or a flyer or things like that, ask them not what they think. Ask them how did they feel or what did you look at first? What were your thoughts as you went throughout the ad? Because what people will immediately do when you ask them, hey, what do you think about this? They're thinking that you want their opinions on certain things that aren't necessarily going to help you reach your goal, which makes me end with this one. You got to know your goal for the ad as well. So if somebody has an experience that's alternative to the goal that you have, that's when there's a problem. And that's when you need to figure out, all right, how do I make sure the experience is actually in line with what my goal is. Not getting all into this creative space of, oh man, people got opinions, everybody got an opinion on um, what I'm doing, but obviously they're not the one going through the creative process and already had these thoughts. Yeah, but you can spend a lot of times thinking about the wrong thing or us making your own assumptions. We create a lot of assumptions in our head. Sometimes we'll do something. Everybody else will have a completely different experience. It just is what it is. Of course, you want to do that with multiple people because multiple people might have different experiences, but it's about their experience going through the ad, not their opinion of the ad, because oftentimes that's completely different things. The goal is to have people experience your ad and hit your specific target after experiencing your ad versus just liking it from a superficial level. Oh, and a last reminder, this Sunday, February 28th will be the last day for the free bonuses that come along with the Master Music Networking Guide. If you want those, you can click the link in the description and I'll put it all kind of places around this, the top comment, all that stuff. If you want to see what those bonuses are and get a vibe for that, I'm not going to go into that here. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.